Everywhere DeepSeek's making a web, everyone is talking about DeepSeek AI. So why are you falling behind? In today's video, we'll deep dive into DeepSeek AI and explore as a web UX AI and web developers and see how they can use it. And also into this video, we're going to talk about DeepSeek AI prompts and cons. DeepSeek AI developed by a Chinese startup, DeepSeek has risen in a competitive player and generative AI space, offering specialized capabilities at lower cost than many competitors. Now let's see like how we can get DeepSeek or how we can create an account there. So it's pretty simple. So you need to search in Google like DeepSeek and then you will get their website here like DeepSeek.com, this one. And now you need to click on here, this start now this button. And then they're gonna be perfect because now they have a huge traffic. And you just need to click on here this login with Google, and you just need to select any of your Google, and you can just create account there. But if you don't want to go with this way, you can just create a sign up option, add your email, password, company password, and send in a code there, and then do sign up. So after doing sign up, you will get a same thing like this. You need to click on here this start now this button, and then you will get a, like a fresh something like this. <laughs> it's mostly same thing like others um, chatbot have, the same thing. So if you see the profile, click on this button, then you'll get a delete all chats option. I really like it. Just one click, you can delete all of your conversation and chats from there. And the setting here there, you can just see the setting, your name, email address, phone number if you wanna add, you can do, also if you wanna delete account, you can do it from here. And yeah, that's it. And if you're in contact with them, then you can do. And here we have a, like the bar sidebar. You can literally just off and on it if you want it. And this is like new chat option. So, and also here, if you look at this, then you can let write here the prompt. You can just write it, what is DeepSec, for example. So it's have a few option. Deep thinking like how they mainly solve the problem. You can literally see it. And it's have a search option and let's have a like file upload option. So you can upload literally 50 files at once and it's each of them can be 100 MB, max 100 megabyte on here. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna access what is um, DeepSeek. Let's see how it's mainly work. I'm just gonna click on this button or this enter button. As you can see, they're mainly thinking it. And yeah, okay, so as you can see how they're solving it. Mm -hmm. So this is the way. So right now I just mainly select here Deep thing r1 that's why it's like thinking how and after this they're gonna give you an answer so they are thinking a lot as you can see this is the answer they're giving us and this is like thinking and this is mainly the answer yeah that's fine so now we're gonna ask the same question here but we're gonna turn off this and we're gonna this like this way let's say what is it say and as you can see they're not now thinking they're directly giving answer that's a pretty nice thing and if you wanna search it, just select search, enter. I'm not sure it's gonna work pretty much good or not, but right now, um, it's unavailable right now. Um, but before it was work fine. Now let's see some use cases. What happens if I don't know how to write a prompt? Well, DeepSeek has a solution for that. You can literally tell DeepSeek AI that, okay, I gonna give you on a topic and you're gonna give me the prompt. So what you can do, we can literally just open a new chat and we can just paste like this. Um, act like a prompt engineer or prompt engineer expert. I'll give a topic and it will just write for me prompt. So that's gonna be much more better, I think. So I just add here. And as you can see, now they're gonna got it. Okay, now I can just tell them topic and they're gonna make for me the prompt. This is pretty nice thing, okay? So if you don't know how to write a prompt, you can follow this way. Let's say you get a new client and they give a bunch of files and you don't really understand how to start, but you can ask DeepSeek AI for query projects idea based on your niche. So if you don't understand how it's mainly work, uh, let me show you an example. So what you can do mainly, since we are gonna do brainstorming right now, we're gonna say something like this. So I'm right now working on this project. You can literally just give the project name or you can tell more about the projects so that you can understand clear idea. And then what do you really want? So let's say suggest me some innovative idea or and features or approach that make us down. So you can literally just ask them that what do you really want? So for this brand instrument, as you can see, I just do a little bit changes here. I just changed this shoe selling company. I just wanna say, for example, let's say, and they just give me a lot of things. As you can see, health and comfort focus, subscription and growth model, a lot of ideas they gave me. 
But now it's time to work on the sitemap. So what we can do, we can definitely ask them, just share with me the sitemap they're gonna give us, or we can just have this problem like help me help me to create a sitemap including key pages, user flow, hierarchy, and ensure seamless user experience. So let's enter this prompt and let's see. Since they already know about our website, they know like ideas, features, and approach to start with this project. So now they can easily make the sitemap definitely. So as you can see, they are making this thing. Here is the home page, product page, like all of this thing they are doing. So let's wait a little bit. So as you can see, this is the pretty, pretty good result they get. And if you go to the before one, they make the hierarchy also. If you so, if you ask for the hierarchy, they will make the hierarchy, and it's pretty clear. And also, like user flow, if you really need, you can ask for the user flow. They're gonna make for you, and you can just copy paste in Figma, or just take a screenshot and then paste it. That's gonna be much more better. Now let's go to the next. It's like the wireframe. So. Right now we just have a con in, right? But we don't have any structure how the design will be. We don't have it. So we can definitely tell the AI, okay, just based on our communication, suggest a design wireframe layout, focus on user friendly navigation and key elements, and it cannot be responsive design. So we can just ignore the responsive for now. So let's see what they mainly do right now. So as you can see, when they're giving the suggestions, they are so we are talking about kids like shoe selling website based on a communication. So yeah, this is a friendly key elements of his experience. That's pretty good. So this is the thing they do for here. Header, breadcrumb, product, like product details, product description, review, a lot of things they are giving. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Well, we have everything ready right now just a little bit text for the design. So we can definitely ask AI for headline, description, and city for this, right? So what you can do, so here is a problem, as you can see, just write engaging and user friendly copy for what? For our current project. So we can say current project, project, and then keep tone, how mainly you want, like you want like friendly or professional, how do you mainly want? So I really want like playful something maybe, yeah, playful. Or you can just tell them how you mainly want. Um, also, emotive. Okay, so this is pretty good. Okay, let's enter it. Maybe they're gonna write down for all of these pages to the, the content. So as you can see, this is the homepage, headline, feature categories, testimonial section, newsletter, sign up, uh, and this is the product page. So maybe we can make it more better. Right now, they just only cover these few sections but we just need to tell them, okay, for the home page, this is the section I really want. That time, maybe they're gonna do much more better, I mean, better work they can do. And what is just going to make this site map here, we can literally just tell them, okay, this is the page we want, or we're just making the hierarchy that time, I can just make how many sections we'll do and how we'll do, we just make a list of them. So maybe in this way, they're gonna do more better work. So. If you don't understand what I'm saying about it. so let's say you're designing the home page, right? So the home page, how many sections you're gonna design? So you need hero section, you need like say logo sections, um, you need like categories. Um, let's say you have a um, product, popular products you have, popular products you have, products. So like this way, like how many sections do you want? So you can just make a list of them. You can take the idea from there and just make a list of them. And then when you just write the copy, you can just tell them a specific, okay? Based on our whole communication, write the copy for each of the section. So it's gonna give it a much better result maybe. Wow, we're almost 70% done. Just a little things, it's about color. So let's ask DeepSeek AI to generate a color pass for the project. With the right prompts, AI can make a design process smoother and efficient. So try it, let's see like how it's work. So now we can tell them, okay, just a generate a color palette for the design, maybe two color palettes so that you can compare it. Also, um, make sure make sure that's accessible. Okay, so let's see what they give the results. So every single time we can just mainly ask them for this. Okay, so they're giving the primary color, secondary color, like this is only for the bright and playful. And this text color, white, and this is a color pad too. So they're literally giving us a uh, color pad also. <laughs> this is really good thing. 
And now you can literally apply everything to your design and you can really see how it's gonna work. And as you can see, if you look at these accessible things, then they're telling all of this thing, like a color, white, for what, we can use it. Also give the example. So if you need a more example about it, you can definitely ask to them and they're gonna make the more example. And also you're gonna see this, like UCAG standard, you can really check it out, this thing. So yeah, if you can literally ask to them for this and they're gonna make for you. Now it's time to apply everything on our design. So what you can do, we can literally just copy paste all of this thing that here, as you can see. So you can really copy paste this thing and go to Figma and just paste everything there and then start working on. Now let's see some more use cases of DeepSeek AI. So design comparison. It sounds really hard, like not possible to do. That's correct, but they can definitely give some a few ideas, maybe. Um, ask DeepSeek AI to analyze your current design and ask for a suggestion that how we can make it better. Also, let's say you are just have a landing page uh, copy. So if you two version, version one, version two, you can literally compare them together. Um, you can just tell them what's mainly pros and cons so that you can easily take a decision. Error detection and debugging. If you're a developer or a designer, I know you face a lot of challenges every single day. It can help you tackle those issues. It might not always work everything directly, but it can provide you a useful solution and spark some new ideas. Multiple person analysis. Understanding your users is a key. AI can identify key personnel like budget consumers and shoppers, student or gift buyer and provide inside a tailor your product for each audience. So you can collect all of your persona and ask AI to analyze them or you can ask them whatever you really want. Workflow optimization. Now the biggest thing everyone wanna be productive, wanna more do work in the less time, but if you're struggling with inefficiency, um, AI can review your current process, find bottleneck and suggest improvement to enhance your productivity. So what you can do if you just uh, make a routine every single day. So you just like, just make, just take a picture and upload to DeepSeek uh, and just tell, okay, this is the thing I do, but in the middle time, I just do this, this, this. Okay, so how we can just be more productive, how we can be more focused, like you can just ask AI, they can definitely give you some idea. Now let's see some deep seek pros and cons, just see a little comparison on here. Okay, so if you look at these technical tags, then deep seek AI, like superior encoding, math and reasoning, ChatGPT is broader language versatility. And if you look at the cost, then DeepSeek is more affordable API pricing. ChatGPT is higher subscription fee for advanced feature. And DeepSeek is pretty much cheap. I know this is pretty much cheap, like 10x cheap than ChatGPT. Then if you look at the censorship, then it's strict content filter, like DeepSeek strictly content filter. And ChatGPT less, less restrictive outside of China. And if you see this open source, then DeepSeek is already open source, fully open source. You can literally just download uh, and install in a computer and they can just use it locally. But in ChatGPT, it's not really possible. It's only for this commercial model, as you can see, closed commercial model. So you cannot really download or use it on your computer. With the right prompts, AI make your design process smoother and more efficient. Try it out and see how it's work for you. So that's it all about. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more tips and tutorial. See you in the next one.